Click subscribe to receive notifications from the latest videos. Thank you. Best and Worst Moments from Monday's Redskins-Eagles Game at Lincoln Financial Field This post will be updated throughout the game. Best Points The Redskins received the opening kickoff and marched 66 yards on 7 plays, including a 31-yard completion to Vernon Davis, whose yards per completion, 21.33 is inching closer and closer to his age. 33. The drive stalled when Ryan Grant caught a third down pass short of the sticks, but rookie kicker Nick Rose, signed to replace the injured Dustin Hopkins last week, drilled his first field goal attempt from 27 yards to give Washington the early lead. Worst injury, already playing without Michael Kendricks, who was inactive with a hamstring injury. Philadelphia lost fellow linebacker Jordan Hicks on the second play of the game. Best digging a hole, the Eagles committed penalties on their first three offensive plays from scrimmage and were penalized for having 12 men in the huddle before lining up for their fourth, leading to glorious crowd shots of Philadelphia fans booing and shouting obscenities. Like, even more than usual. Alshon Jeffery was flagged for offensive pass interference, Zach Ertz's block in the back wiped out a big gain by Wendell Smallwood, and Lane Johnson was whistled for holding. By the time the Eagles ran a play that didn't feature a flag, they faced first and 33 from their own two-yard line. Best defunct punt, still in the shadow of his own goal line on second down. Eagles quarterback Carson Wentz overthrew Torrey Smith on a deep ball that was intercepted by Quinton Dunbar at the Redskins' 42-yard line. Philadelphia punter Donnie Jones probably couldn't have flipped field position any better. Worst hit, for all flags in the first few minutes of Monday's game, officials missed what should have been a penalty on Eagles rookie defensive end Derek Barnett who drilled Redskins guard Brandon Scherf in the back after a near interception by Kirk Cousins. Scherf was injured on the play. Best pressure, Ryan Kerrigan and Junior Gallet forced a punt on the Eagles' second drive by getting to Carson Wentz for a sack. The Redskins only had two sacks of Wentz in the Eagles' Week 1 win after dropping him nine times in two Washington wins last season. Worst scare, a punt returner's number one job is to catch and maintain possession of the ball, something Jamison Crowder has struggled to do this season. Crowder's fumble on Philadelphia's ensuing punt was his third in six games, and while Josh Holsey recovered for Washington, it might be time for the Redskins to consider other candidates for the role. Worst record Kirk Cousins prefers working weekends to weekdays. During his six-year NFL career, the Redskins quarterback is 22-15-1 on Saturdays and Sundays and 0-8 on other days. That includes an 0-5 record in starts on Monday Night Football, despite throwing more touchdowns, 5, than interceptions, 3 and completing 66% of his passes in those games. The only two quarterbacks to lose their first six Monday night games, Archie Manning and Joe Namath, did okay for themselves, but Cousins would rather not join that club. The Redskins have lost four consecutive games on Monday night football since Colt McCoy led an upset of the Cowboys in 2014 best record. On the other hand, Cousins is 4-2 with 14 touchdowns, 4 interceptions and a 97.8 passer rating in 6 career games against the Eagles. Something's got to give. Worst nemesis, Alshon Jeffery and Nelson Aguilar are the Eagles' top wide receiver targets, but tight end Zach Ertz has given the Redskins the most fits over the years.
Ertz has never scored in nine games against Washington, but he's averaged six catches for 59 yards in those contests. Three of his five 100-yard games have come against the Redskins' best road trip. The Redskins are playing two Monday night football games on the road for the first time since 2001, when they lost to the Packers, 37-0, and Cowboys, 9-7. While Chris Thompson considers Eagles fans some of the meanest in the league and won't allow his family to attend games at Lincoln Financial Field, it beats the alternative of being in Landover Washington as 2-16 in Monday night home games since FedEx Field opened in 1997 and 4-4 in Monday night road games during the same period. Worst love for the underdog. Five out of six experts on ESPN's Monday Night Countdown picked the Eagles to win. Best news Colin Washington's number one cornerback, Josh Norman, wasn't cleared to return from his rib injury, but Basson Breland was active after being listed as questionable with a knee injury all week. Eagles quarterback Carson Wentz threw for 307 yards and two touchdowns against the healthy Redskins secondary in the team's first meeting this season, so this was welcome news for Washington defensive coordinator Greg Minuski best birthday. Redskins linebacker Zach Brown, who had a game-high 12 tackles against the Eagles in Week 1 and leads Washington with 50 tackles this season. Turn 28 on Monday. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video interesting, please like and share to many friends know. Do you have any questions? Please comment below to let everyone know. And do not forget to click on the subscribe button to receive notifications from the latest videos. Goodbye and see you again.